with you guys got another Windows 10 error message fix for you here in this video now this one is related to the Windows 10 store and as you can see here when you try to open it you get this error message so what we're going to do here is try to open this up and you can see the code here is 0x8072 EFD and this can be pretty frustrating to fix because there's a load of fixes that you can try and some of them don't work so let's go ahead and go through here, open up the run command box here and type in here wsreset.exe. That's the first thing we're going to try. Now these repairs are in no particular order so you can try them at any sort of order you want but I'd advise you to go through all of these okay, uh, step by step and just try to fix your issue. So as you can see uh, we're going to go back into here now and go back into the search box and type CMD again and open this up and run this as administrator. Next up what we're going to do here is come up to the top here and type in this big long command and this is going to re-register and re-install uh, the Windows Store and hopefully this will resolve the issue. Now you want to sometimes reboot your computer, I'm just skipping those steps just to show you but if you reboot your system sometimes that can resolve the issue but in this case you can see it's not resolved the issue. So let's move on to another fix here, I'm going to go back into the search window, type CMD again, click run as administrator again and open up this box again. Now next up what we're going to do here is type out these commands here, net space stop and then W U A U S E R V and then just go through and type all these commands that you're seeing here and this is going to stop all these services so we can then go ahead and delete uh, the software distribution data inside there and the uh, download folder for uh, programs and stuff like that we can download all those now if you get prompted here just say Y for yes and once these services are stopped, it will allow us to then delete the content inside there. Sometimes this does fix and resolve a lot of these issues. Now you may want to make a restore point at this stage, or you may want to back up your data at this stage before you delete any data on your system, okay? Because in case something goes wrong. So it's always best to do that. So you can see here, I'm just going to type these commands out. And I'm trying to go slow here so you can see uh, what they are on the screen. I will try and leave the code in the video description for you. Now once that's done go into your C root directory and look for software distribution and delete all the contents inside it. Now you can rename that uh, folder to .old if you want to uh, and then that will just put a new version in there but I'm just going to delete all the content in here. Now also there's a uh, download installation folder in there which you can delete as well and I didn't record this part I did uh, miss that bit but I did delete uh, the contents of those uh, folders so just make sure you delete all that content okay and then reboot your system and see if that uh, resolves your issue for you now we're going to move on to another fix assuming that this hasn't fixed your issue if it has then happy days but if it hasn't then we're going to try some more fixes that you can try okay so next up once you've done that what you want to do is reboot your system and then uh, restart these services so once you've restarted the services go into net start and re just reverse the cycle and remove the net stop okay so net start this time and you just go all the way through and repeat the uh, cycle. Now you can make bat files out of these if you want to or batch files uh, they're the same thing but if you want to make batch files out of these you can do you just copy these codes into a word document and rename it stop and start dot bat and, and it will be uh, do it all for you. Uh, so as you can see here uh, we're just going to go through and uh, start these up. Now you can also uh, reset the DLL files at this stage if you're still having issues um, but that's getting a little bit more um, extreme fixing so we're just going to restart these 
Now again, with the window stall being so problematic, sometimes this can happen and it could be any one of these fixes that are gonna fix your window stall. So there's no one fix that will fix it, okay? Because everyone's problem's gonna be different. Even though the error message is pretty much the same for everyone, you just gotta go through uh, and try all these. Now once you've done that and rebooted your system, go in and try to click on the Windows Update and uh, this will uh, try to fix and resolve that issue. It'll download more content into those folders. Now also you can try to download the Windows Update Agent and reinstall that as well if you want to and that sometimes resolves this issue as well. I haven't put that step in the video but you can try that step also because I know that does also resolve this issue. So just let this run through its thing and you'll see it just go through its updates and then once it's finished its updates it'll check a few more and it'll say you're fully updated. Okay so you can see we're fully updated now and hopefully that does resolve your issue. If it doesn't then you need to move on to some more fixes and I'll show you some other fixes that you can try to uh, resolve this issue. So let's continue on. So what we're going to do next is come down uh, to here and check it out. As you can see it's still having problems. So I'm going to come down here, open up uh, the networking and sharing and just make sure that you haven't got any proxies set and make sure the automatically detect your settings is on and make sure the manual proxy setup is off or disabled. Now if you've still got a proxy running there and you don't realize you've got one you can use a command prompt to uh, disable that and I'll show you how to do that in a bit. Also up here if you want to go through the old internet options you can also check there as well. If you're used to doing it this way it's the same thing but basically come in here and go to connections look at land settings here and you'll see automatically detect your settings and also use a proxy server and we haven't got that. Now also you want to come here to the search box and type in here troubleshoot or trouble and this will allow you to open up the troubleshoot tool. Come all the way down to where you see Windows Store Apps, click on this, click run troubleshooter and this will run through some uh, diagnostics of your Windows Store Apps and hopefully try to resolve them. So you can see here it says open up account settings and you can click on next here to reset the app. So open up the apps and features. This will take you to the apps and features area. Come all the way down to where you see the Windows Store. Now this really shouldn't work because we've already reinstalled and reset it but we're going to try it anyway. Go into advanced options here and click on reset. It's going to delete any data in there and reset it but as you can see here it's reset that and hopefully that will resolve your issue. If it doesn't then we can move on to some other uh, fixes here. So just let this go through the final testing here and it's fixed the hanging off crashing of apps. You can see it says it's fixed that. Now you can also give it a reboot and uh, test it again if you want to. But we're just going to move on to another fix here. Go into the search windows again and type CMD again and right click and run as administrator. And this is where you can delete that proxy as well just in case you can't see it and it's hidden and we're just going to delete that and reset the proxy. Okay so we're going to move on to another fix here that you can try. I'm going to go into the C drive here, users, the account that you're using and then app data down here. Now if you don't see this I'll show you how to show this in a sec. Go into local and then we want to drill down to where we see packages and then look for the Windows Store package and you can see there's quite a lot of uh, Microsoft stuff in here so it'll be easier if you click up the top 
and click on the name and it will put them into order here so we can then find it a lot easier because you can see there's a load inside here just look for that window store here okay inside there you can see all this uh, content here again make sure you've got backups I'm going to delete this and remove this straight out okay it will rebuild itself so I'm just going to quickly delete now don't delete the folder delete the contents inside the folder okay now if you wanted to see this folder you need to make sure you show hidden files folders and drives and, th and that's in folder options as I'm showing you here so once we've done that we can close it off reboot the system again and try again uh, to try that fix if it doesn't work then I'm going to show you some other stuff now make sure that you've got any firewall or any antivirus program turned off so I'm just going to close these out and firewalls can actually block connectivity to your internet so if you are using one of those you may have put a setting on there that you don't know and then try to uh, connect up next up we're going to go to the registry H key local machine here software Microsoft Windows NT current version network list and profile now of course you will need to type regedit in the run bar to open up the registry editor once you're at the profiles right click on this and go to permissions here now once you've done that click on advanced and down the bottom you can see replace all child object permissions and uh, we're just going to click yes here once you've done that reboot your system click ok click ok again close this out and reboot the system and try to connect to your Windows Store again if this still doesn't work then we're sort of running out of options there's a few more things that you can try but we'll try and restart here now also again what you want to do is go into the search box here and uh, we're going to type in here control panel open up control panel and go into user accounts now what we're going to do here you can do this in the other areas here but we're going to try control panel now you can see here I've got an account here called Brightech I'm just going to rename this because I don't want to lose the name Brightech and I'm just going to put a 2 here and then we're going to create another account so create a new user account this will real be rebuild all of that uh, Windows Store and everything else like that and hopefully this will resolve your issue so we're going to go in here manage another account here and then add a new user account so you're just going to add a quick user account now you can delete this afterwards if it doesn't work but it's worth a try so we're just going to give this an, a quick an account you can see they want you to set up a live account I don't want to do that so I'm just going to say this person doesn't have sign-in information and again I don't want to set this up as a live account so add a user without a Microsoft account and then we could just put in here another account here it won't let me do Brightech because that's already in use so I need to put in a number here so just put number three and uh, you can see that accounts now being created restart your computer log off this computer and log into that Brightech free or your account that you've created and it will rebuild that user account and hopefully that will resolve your Windows Store if it does then you can delete the original account and then move on with that one and it should be fixed now once you've done all that you can restart your computer and then check your Windows Store once more and see if it's been resolved and as you can see this one has been resolved now if yours is still not working there is a few more things you can try you can always head over to our forums and I can help you out over there but don't give up you can fix it it just takes a bit of time that's all anyway I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can go to my main YouTube channel here, click on the red subscribe button, and also what's really important is hit that bell notification button, and this will notify you when I upload new videos. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.